just a guy, you look at the way he played in the meeting in January, and Felix Akpara, only six points, but he had 15 rebounds and five blocks, and that's a great start for Indiana. This is a great job by Indiana, the recognition that they can just take this off the tip and go. And Gabe Cups, push to the head to renew. And Mackenzie Mbako gets his first person. And we've seen Ohio State go to this a lot more, kind of this bully ball, and Bruce Thornton clearly going to have a size advantage. Inside, easy pull-up jumper will not go for Mbako. Mackenzie Mbako, he scored at the last four, but hasn't been nearly as efficient. They love that little pin-down action. But for Gabe Cubs, he's, he's one of those players that you know he's going to do exactly what the coach tells him to. He competes, and certainly with, with Indiana's lack of guard depth, they're going to need him more than ever now going forward. Back-to-back -back threes for Thornton off the mark. And another rebound for Gabe Cups. Well, he had Ware running the floor, but Ware took that defense with him, and that allowed Mackenzie Mbako to just trail into the play. Really just get some wins in conference play. Inside to Mahaffey, and Mahaffey rising through the contact of Renew and able to get the finish. Revan Mahaffey, this is just a simple cross-screen play. You got Gale popping to the corner. There's the screen by Jameis. Ware with key on him, now drops it off in a wide open shot and a nice stroke put together by Trey Galloway. Yeah, good read by Galloway right there. Ohio State going under on the handoff, and instead of trying to beat that defender, he just steps right back and drills it from 18 feet. As they look for more production from guards, he really is somebody that coaches seem to be drawn to talking no, about Galloway. Absolutely. Now, he's got to do it on the road as well because he's a guy that at home has been a different player. Can't get that far behind on the handoff. Otherwise, it is going to be a pop back. He who comes down with the board. Mako's got to understand. Jamison Battle. Hands have got to be up at all times. Battle leads the league in percentage and also the number of three point field goals made per game. So you got to know who you're dealing with. That's a great sign. You can listen to that forever. Pretty cool stuff. You can do that. Some of the NBA stories he yeah. was telling us as well. As Roddy Gale Jr., who has been waiting on a three pointer to fall, finally hits one. Galloway dishes back to Galloway. Galloway going to take it himself toward the rim and nicely uses that glass high off the glass to get it to go. Get to the other side of the rim and lay it up with his left. Now, Roddy Gale Jr. driving baseline, able to get the shot to go. But yes, yeah, CJ Gunn, he hunts steals on the defensive end. Thornton. Shoulders a lot of this offensive responsibility. Mahaffey with it, and Mahaffey able to get that low. So this matchup, I think the question is who can flip it? Is it Renew inside, or is it Mahaffey getting out on the perimeter? This time it's Thornton racing one from the corner. But it's created by the drive of Evan Mahaffey. Inside with Mbako. Mbako had battle as well as Royal there defending and unable to get it to go. Now Thornton with it. Gordon moves ahead, drops it to Bonner. Now this is battle on the drive, and battle able to use that left hand. A really good cut right there. You got Mackenzie and Baco Gardner. He's come along defensively, but he still can get lost off the ball. And battle was able to take advantage there. Now Gabe Cups with the answer for Indiana. Thornton calls for the basketball. Mahaffey sets the screen and rolls, but he lost it. Now Indiana with an opportunity to run with it. And Baco rising for the rim. Defense helping their offense, which has really struggled here tonight in Columbus. Battle is starting to find some smooth, easy offense. Back to the left hand, he goes for another deuce. You've got to give some, some help there. He's coming off the pin down, and it's the responsibility of the screener's defender to at least show, or if you see it, switch it out. And this is tipped away. Mahaffey with the steal, and Mahaffey with the bucket. He has really come along here in the last couple of weeks. He's scored it more. We've known he could do this, but there, that defense making something happen, shooting through that passing lane. Ohio State now five for the last five. Inside, renew through the contact and one. Bringing the post trap, and Indiana's got to throw it inside to him every time. There's the length of Evan Mahaffey. Defense creating offense. I just think for, for Malik Renew, he, he is going to have opportunities. Devin Royal. It's Malik Renew who clears it. Now Renew with a wild dribble able to secure it. And Baco going into the paint. And Baco with a good, tough finish. Trey Galloway. Galloway kicks. Now Renew with five on the shot clock. Renew attacks. When he, he got nice right to the body of Akpara. And that's so smart to do with a shot blocker. 
18 on the shot clock and 25 now on the game clock. Ronnie Gale Jr., a good, strong take, and the two. They've got, they bring Austin Parks in just to handle the size of Renew and some foul. With cups on him. Now Thornton lobs one up. Great play defensively there by Ware to rise and tip it away. And the hustle plays right now. In, Indiana has got to get engaged here in this second half. Now Renew. Four of nine from the field. They've certainly played through him. And he is... He makes that wild shot, man. You tip your cap and, and you run your offense down here. Galloway, open look, and gets it. Now Galloway flips it to Khalil Ware. Galloway gets it back into the paint. He goes, nice high finish. Now Renew with a handoff to Trey Galloway. Galloway into the paint, shot well off the mark. Came right back to him, and he's doing a great job passing it to himself off the rim even. It's the same exact type of play. Interesting to see Ohio now Renew gives it off to Cups and right back to Renew where he tried and then eventually he's able to come up with the basketball and get the deuce. Key over to Roddy Gale Jr. Gale Jr. can't get the shot to go. Somehow comes back up with the basketball. Then he has it poked away again by Anthony Leal. Nice play defensively by Leal. Now Leal on the offensive end. Somebody lost a shoe. That's Key. Shots up. Shots good. Indiana's got a five on four. Zed Key loses his shoes, so really a five on three. Now Galloway defending Thornton. Gives it up. Gale Jr. thought about a three instead. Inside on Carl slams it on. Good decision right there. Ronnie Gale getting to that teeth of the defense. Drawn two and just dropping it off. Renew thought about Galloway. Keeps it himself. He's attacking Mahaffey and he gets the finish. And now he's looking right at Mahaffey saying, oh yeah. That's now Galloway's third three of the night. Ronnie Gale dropping it off. Now Leo gives it up to Ware. And Ware flashing towards the rim with a nice touch. Gale, Mahaffey sets the screen. Now eight on the shot clock. Kicks it back. Puts it up. Spotted away. Galloway with it. Galloway with the take. Now the kick to the corner for the three, and the three is pure. Anthony Leal from the corner. Three right there, the biggest of the night. They're going under on the Galloway ball screen. He draws a second defender with Roddy Gale. Bonner flashing. Pass down court. The Hafey with it. Kicks it back. Court and three at the buzzer, and it won't go. How about this comeback win? for the Indiana Hoosiers.